What's up, guys? So I wanted to redo this uh, little lesson on the Buckingham Nicks song, Frozen Love, from this one right here. All right, got the negative on the back. All right. So, um, yeah, so what happened was uh, I was scrolling YouTube the other night, and it suggested a live recording of this song, and I, I'd never heard a live version of this song, so I immediately started listening to it, and something about hearing him play it with just just one electric guitar all the way through, right? It, it made something click. I realized that the tuning is a little different than I initially thought. And, uh, you know, hearing the notes kind of rub into each other and some of the open strings and stuff, and you hear this chord right before the bridge, right? Right, and also this part kind of clued me in. So, um, you know, between them, I realized what was going on. And uh, so I'm going to just kind of, I wanted to play it to the Met so you guys could hear where the one was at. And uh, I'm going to break it down again, show you what I think is going on. And uh, hopefully you'll get it this time. All right. All right. So here's what I think is going on with the tuning. So we got E, B, D, F sharp, A. D. So it's like an E7 sus, the two and the four, right? And um, you might want to kind of just work on the thumb part on this for a little while. It's a Travis picking pattern, which is a reference to Merle Travis. And the right hand part on this is actually very similar to Never Going Back Again. If you guys know that tune, you probably have an easier time getting this one together, right? So just kind of work on that that locked in. Just work on that for a little while. And then we got this hammer on, on the second fret of the A string, right? In the top part of the phrase. So we got, again, and then not for the rest of the phrase until it starts back. Okay, now I'm just gonna go through each piece of this and try to help you guys get this, all right? All right, so the first piece goes like this. We got our thumb on the low string, and then we're gonna jump to the D string and simultaneously pluck with our middle finger on the open B. All right, and then we got our hammer on on the A string to the second fret followed by the thumb on the D, open B with the middle, and then thumb on the low string. And then we're gonna grab our thumb on the D string and our index on the G string, the right hand, and we're fretting the second fret of the G string, right? Okay, and then we have And that's all open, right? So that's, we have thumb on the A string now, pluck in the G string, the index, thumb on the D string, middle on the B string, okay? Thumb on the low string, and then we pluck the G string again with our index, and then we have the D string with the thumb and the high E string Simultaneously, you can use your middle or your ring. I think I did the middle. Okay, followed by that. So that's hammer on again into the open D, and then we grab the second fret on the B string, followed by the thumb on the low string. So that's the first little bit, right? Okay, so coming out of that, we have the thumb on the low string, and we have to continue that Travis pick, right? And then bring in the fourth fret on the B string. One more time. And then we 
got to bend that up. Okay. Part's the hardest to explain, so I just wanted to play it super slow for you, but I'll do it one more time. So, okay, so when it cycles back around, it's a little bit different than how it starts, right? He starts with this figure. get to the bend it's the same from there okay and so again he starts with this figure he kind of flips it and then so this whole phrase happens four times and then he tags the bend right so there we're fretting the D G and B strings right and so we're going ring finger fourth fret on the D middle finger third fret on the G pinky on the fourth fret of the B and the top strings open and the right hand we're going all right and then we have to move that G string note some motion down to the, to the second fret and then open so we have solo kind of takes over there in the live version he take goes into the solo and in the studio track the acoustic continues the rhythm behind the solo okay so i hope that helps uh, i know this is kind of a lot and uh this is you know maybe kind of a deep cut but i figured for those of you who are interested in this you might appreciate it and uh let me know if you have any questions or anything i hope this helps